Welcome back. Our next topic, Mark Ellerich announced this week that he is creating a grant for nonprofits and places of worship. They can apply for $20,000 grants towards security if they face threats. Stacy, the total grant amount is $100,000 that is expedited and $900,000 is on the way. Do you think this is the best policy to provide security to our nonprofits and places of worship? Lori, I think that this is one important component of it, and it's one thing that I have to say I agree with Mark Elrich for looking in at the, on this and trying to take some action. My preference would be that they make tax relief available to homeowners if they want to install a security system in their own home, because this, of course, helps to divert crime and also to sell, help solve crimes if they occur. That's not going to happen. You and I both know that. And I think that because we have so much heightened security, I mean, heightened tensions around the world, we are really living some deep, dark days right now, that we have seen an increase in hate crimes. And so I do think it's appropriate to focus in on these organizations that may be vulnerable, but um, we do need to be careful about where the money is going. So I will say in this too, that the total amount is $900,000, which if you break that down by $20,000, it means only 45 organizations around the area are going to get that kind of support. Mm. It's not very many people or organizations. Do you think any of those organizations will be approved if they're a conservative organization? Well, I certainly hope that the I will not be specifically on political leanings, except if it's a terrorist organization. I do hope that they'll, they, th this is actually being off, um, managed by the Office of Emergency Management and Homeland Security in conjunction with the Grants Office Management Division of Montgomery County. That division is um, putting together or has put together a group of people that will be reviewing the grants that presumably some of them have this kind of expertise to understand, is it a real threat or not? Or are they a real threat to the public? Yeah, Mara, say, what do you think? Well, I think that the host is supposed to be impartial. That's number one. Number two, <laughs> no, <laughs> I absolutely agree with, um, with the executive. Definitely, we want to make sure that we are balanced in the way that we are advocating for both uh, Montgomery County residents that may have had Israeli and Palestinian family members, you know, somehow uh, been affected by the terrorist attacks and what's happening um, to the people of Palestine in Gaza. Um, I also understand that this is really more of an international issue. Um, I think that it's smart for the executive, for Mark Elridge to, you know, um, I guess, come out publicly, basically saying, you know, we'll use some of the tax dollars. I think this is a, a bigger issue, uh, transcending really taxes um, and, you know, I guess, uh, putting together funds for uh, security issues, et cetera. I think this, this is really more about a humanitarian um, issue that really kind of goes beyond the county. Uh, but, you know, at, at, at the county level, um, rather than, you know, seeing him not doing anything, you know, I think that the, this is a good, this is a good first step. Well, right. actually, in closing, if I may say, too, that what I would really like him to see is to be spending more money on the police department. 